Oh, creeper! Here's the other thing cats can do. Watch this. Hey, see this guy right here? That's a cat. You don't like cats so much, do you? Look at that. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number six in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And it looks like we have some neighbors dropping in, although that zombie seems awfully shy. Come on, drop in, pal. We don't bite here. Not much, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. Uh, however, we don't have time to chat, I'm afraid. So why don't you just leave your gifts and then uh, maybe we'll see you next time. Oh, somebody else coming? Oh, look who's coming. It's Mr. Creeper. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Another neighbor dropping in unannounced. Hey, listen, we have a lot of work to do today, so if you can just leave your welcoming gift, and then we'll call it a day. Look at this. We got some bones in here. We got some more gunpowder, arrows, and rotten flesh, and we are going to need some of this for today's episode, especially the bones and possibly the rotten flesh, um, because today, excuse me, beat it. Uh, we are going to go find some new friends. So yes, my friends, in this episode, we are going to try to tame a cat, a wolf, and possibly a horse, if we can find them. I do know that there's at least one cat at the village that we were at in the last episode, because I heard one. I didn't see him, but we're going to go track him down and try to tame the cat with the salmon. Um, and if we run into any wolves, we can try to tame them with the bones. The horse we tamed a little differently, and we'll, we'll try that as well. I'm pretty sure there was a horse there. Speaking of people dropping in on us unannounced, we had a wandering trader drop in in the last episode. I like to call him Waldo. Uh, but unfortunately, after we traded with Waldo, he had a very unfortunate and uh, tragic accident. He kind of fell down in that chimney there into the Mob Gorilla 9000, and we know what happened to him after that, don't we? Uh, but he did leave behind these, uh, these llamas. So they were orphans, and I've taken them in. And now we've given them a lovely home so we can take these leads down. You guys are free. And these leads are going to be fantastic for us today for our, uh, our pet endeavors. And I think they might be able to get out of here. So, although, you know what? I'm going to give you an opportunity. Look at him try to get out. Listen, I'll give you the opportunity to try to go if you want to leave. No one's keeping you here uh, against your will. I mean, now's your chance. If you want to go, go. Anybody? Waldo's not coming back, you know. <laughs> Actually, he might come back, but he'll probably have new llamas. Uh, all right, I guess they'll want to stay. Right from the mouths of llamas, there you go. I think we have got everything we need, so... Yeah, well, let's boogie. No time like the present. What time is it anyway? Oh, it's midday. we got plenty of time. So we're going to head over to the village first. Like I said, I heard a cat there. We're going to try to tame the cat with the raw salmon. Now, we can tame cats with raw salmon or raw cod. I don't have any cod, but we do have the salmon, and I'm going to probably try to get some more salmon on the way over once we get in the river because we got to take a boat oh look who we have here little bunny wabbit get over here yo you little stinker this is the one we chased down in the first episode look at him he's so fast let's bring you back to the desert where you belong you're not working with the spy chickens are you i think he's a spy <laughs> goodbye little bunny have a nice life and do not fraternize with the spy chickens if i see you again then you will be considered a spy and your life will be forfeit so beat it Anyway, all right, I have freed the uh, the bunny. So let's grab a few more fish here. These are really easy to get, these uh, the salmon. They float right to the top. And oh, we got a new recipe. What the heck did we get? We got bone meal from a fish. That's interesting. I did not even know that they dropped bone meal, which we will use in a future episode when we get to farming. But we haven't had the need for farming yet. And besides, we don't have any seeds for farming, and hopefully we can find some of those today in this town while we're looking for some friends. Oh, hello, sir. Good to see you up there. I don't know who this guy is. Have we met before? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's go introduce ourselves. Hi, what's your name? Oh, better put the sword down. Let's put that sword down. Let's, let's approach with an open hand. Friends, he's a leather worker. Nice, we can give him emeralds for nice dyed leather pants and a purplish Shirt. Hmm. Beautiful. Uh, not interested. Oh, there's our f uh, farmer friend. This is the guy we gave the job to in the last episode. Oh, it sure is. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't, did not bring any wheat to make any trades with you today. I completely forgot because we are not here for that. But while we are here, you know, what we could do is look for, like I said, some seeds for the future. This is all wheat. We can get wheat pretty much anywhere. So, yeah, let's have a look around here. We're going to look for our cats. Let's get our raw salmon in the hands, and what's up? Wait, you lost your kid? I didn't see him. I have nothing to do with it. Um, so, yeah, let's go to the town proper. Where's the town proper? I'm already turned around here. Oh, gosh. 
Now it's getting late too. We're going to have to hop into bed. But let's go up here to the town. We're going to go through all these homes. And some of them are places of business. Oh, look at this. They got banners up here in front. What do we have here? Oh, it's a chest. <gasps> Two saddles. Holy smokes. That is amazing. Bread and a leather tunic. This must be the leather workers um place of business that's what the cauldrons are for so we probably have two leather workers here based on these two cauldrons and the two saddles are fantastic you cannot get saddles anywhere you can't make saddles so you can only find saddles um, in various chests in minecraft so that was a really really good find speaking of horses i see a couple over there it looks like they're actually in a pen now, let's go check out this house, and we're going to have to jump into bed. We better do it quick, because someone's coming. Uh, my bed. Oh, I can't sleep. Hey! <laughs> he hopped in bed before me, because it was not nighttime. How about this? There's no bed here. Here we go. I'm going to sleep right here. There we go. All right, we made it day. So now we have the rest of the day to accomplish this task. But typically, you're going to find stray cats in towns... And you can tame them, and nobody seems to care. Now, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to take these, some of these melons. Yeah, I know I'm doing multiple things here, but I just figure while we're here, we might as well look for seeds while we're looking for the kitty cats. Um, oh, we got a brewing stand here, so there's probably a cleric around. Hey, kid, your dad's looking for you. What are you doing way over here, far from home? What do we have here? Hey! Kid slammed the door on me, <laughs> little punk. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's a chest. Whoa! We got two emeralds right here. Wheat seeds and grass and bread. Grass, huh? And emeralds. This guy's loaded. Yeah, this guy sells grass, I guess. So apparently grass is legal in this town. Interesting. Hey, Peggy Wiggy. Well, this is cool. It's a little pig pigsty. Your place is a pigsty. Clean it up. Get it? Not funny. He didn't think it was very funny. Hey, guys. I think I see a cat. There he is. Holy smokes. He's so far away from town. I think he's trying to run away. So, like I said, the cats will eventually wander off from towns. But they do spawn into towns based on the number of beds. So, towns can have multiple stray cats. But they do explore a lot. And eventually, they'll they'll just uh, they'll despawn. They'll explore and despawn over after a while. Though there he is. Hi, buddy. Come on over here. We got some nice, fresh, raw fish for you. I just pulled him out of the river. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, we got to get in close with about within about eight blocks. And you have to sneak. Go into sneak mode. Hold down your shift key. Because they're very shy. And they do not trust you until you can tame them. But if they see the, uh, the fish, they'll come over... And beg for it. Um, and you can feed them and tame them. That's how you tame them. But we got to get close enough so that he sees the fish, smells them, and then he turns around and uh, begs for it. He's in the tulips. What kind of cat is this? It looks like a silver grayish cat. I think it's the British short here. There's like, I think, 10 or 11 different kinds of cat skins. And uh, this is one of the newer ones as far as I know. I think that is the British short here. I want to collect all of them. It's like Pokemon. I want to collect all the cats. We're going to be that crazy cat guy. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He jumped out of a hole. Hi, little kitty. It is the British short here. Here you go. Have some fish. Oh, we got him. Yeah, the smoke means he's not quite happy yet. Keep feeding me. You know how cats are, right? They think they're the kings and queens of the universe. Um, and then when you see the hearts, that means they are tame. Now we're going to let him up. We can make him sit. Make him stand. And if the cat is standing up on all fours, then they will follow you. This cat is now tame, and that's what the hearts indicate. Of course, if we give him food now and he's not hurt, he's also going to make little hearts, and we can breed him with another cat if there were another cat around. But, uh, wow, look how far we are from town. Come on, little kitty. It's a little British short here. we got to come up with a good name. And you know what we're going to do? Let's color this cat's collar. He's got a red collar right now, which is okay, I guess. But if we take this corn flour and we uh, break it down into dye, we can change the color of the cat's collar to blue. Pretty cool stuff. Now, let's head back to town here and see if we can't find another cat. I'm going to grab some of these flowers. Actually, we can bring them home and spruce up our hidey hole. Hello down there. 
Hold up. We have an emergency. We have an emergency here. Call 911. We got somebody stuck in a hole down here. <laughs> There's a villager down in this pit or chasm. My guess is he fell into the water. Playing in the water again, weren't you, buddy? Yep, and now you're stuck. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe he's not stuck. But we're going to light this up down here so that zombies don't spawn and eat this guy. All right, there's two blocks high here. That means he cannot get out, so we're going to give him an exit over this way. And hopefully he's smart enough to get out, although he might be stuck in the water. Um, let me just get that block out of there. There you go, pal. Come, come on, climb out of here. It's getting dark. Now, this guy does not have a job, so it wouldn't be any major loss if he does get eaten by zombies. But if he gets eaten by zombies, he might um, turn on his friends, right? So we want him to be safe tonight. And in fact, why don't we hop into bed? Oop. I'm going to put some torches up around. This is a farmer's house. Just trying to find a free bed. Here we go. I'm going to hop into bed. And the kitty's going to jump on our bed. <laughs> Aren't you? Oh, you're so sweet. He did for a second, and then he gave it up. But yeah, cats can do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, first of all, they do hop onto beds, and sometimes they sit there and they do not listen to you when you tell them to get off the bed. I'm trying to get him up, but he will not listen. You're a stubborn little Brit, you. Um, but eventually, yeah, I see that cat on the bed. Is that your bed? I'm sorry. I can't get the cat off the bed. Um, so yeah, the cat will follow us eventually. She'll teleport right to us when she gets up. Uh, have we been in here yet? Oh, we haven't been in here yet. Holy smokes, look at this, guys. This is a cartography um, home or shop. There's a cartography table, which we'll get to at some point. We got lo Heck. This better not be locked. Okay, good thing. <laughs> These people slam the doors on you around here. You know what? Let's get rid of the leather, leather tunic. We don't need it. We're going to take that compass, which can be extremely useful. And the bone meal. We don't really need the bone meal. We can make bone meal out of bones easily enough. So I'm going to grab the empty map. And we have lots of paper here, too. Let's grab all of it. So, yes, we are we're basically stealing people's stuff here. But they're not going to use it. Stuff in the chest. No one really cares. No one really cares about. All right. Now, let's go tame a horse. We got two. Who was that? Oh, creeper. Here's the other thing cats can do. Watch this. Hey, see this guy right here? That's a cat. You don't like cats so much, do you? Get him. Get him, you little Brit. Look at that. <laughs> so, cats will scare creepers away, and they also scare um phantoms away we, we have not seen any phantoms yet we'll probably see some sooner or later good work now let's take care of that creeper because he's going to cause problems he's going to sneak right up on us when we're not looking and the cat might not be available oh we just took aim that was the first shot with our bow here right between the eyes we got him all right creeper threat has been eliminated and now we want to get back on track and tame a horse. So we got two horses here to choose from. And I think I'm going to try this. Uh, we'll try the white one first. If we can get over to him. Can I get on you? Yeah. So to tame a horse, you just have to hop on his back by right clicking. Ow! And they'll toss you like so. You'll see that smoke, which means they're not too happy about it. And then they'll toss you. Or they'll, uh, they'll decide that you're okay and they will become friends. You'll become friends forever. Could take a few tries. We could feed him, and then that will make him a little friendlier, I think, and shorten the time to tame. At least that's how it used to work. I'm not sure if it still works that way, but we're not going to do that. Because eventually he's going to give in. And this one's pretty good, too. So on the right-hand side, you can see the health right there. That shows the horse's health. And this horse has a lot of health. Let's check this one, too. Holy smokes, this one has even more. Not, not much, but a little bit more. Ow! You think this is funny, don't you? It's not funny. We're going to get him this time, though. He's a stubborn. You're stubborn as a mule. Okay, there we go. I saw the hearts. <laughs> okay. Let's eat some chicken and heal up. After whacking my head on that pavilion right there, it kind of hurts. So now we can get back on the horse and left shift to dismount, right click to mount. Um, and if we squat shift, excuse me, pal. If we shift click... Uh, shift right click and then we can get into the the horse's um, well, Inventory we can put a saddle on them like that and we can also put armor on horses We do not have any armor right now. So unfortunately, we cannot put armor on the horse which will Protect it from damage obviously, but that the, this one has a saddle and now we can hop on and now we can ride it At least we can we can direct it now without the saddle. You can't really direct it. You just 
Uh, you're at the horse's mercy. Wherever the horse wants to go, that's where you go. But once you have a saddle on it, you get your reins, you can ride the horse and uh, move it around just like you normally move your, your own body with the WASD keys. And uh, spacebar does a little jump and shift again will dismount. All right, I like this horse. He's pretty strong and he seems pretty fast too. So that's a good combination. Now, let's see if we can't find maybe one more cat or a wolf. The wolves are not going to be in the desert or the savanna, but we can find them in woods somewhere. Uh, let's see, where's some, we have some, there's a uh, birch forest over here. We can go that way. I think I see another cat. Wow, another stray cat here. Look how far we are from the village. So yeah, this one wandered away as well. So let's go see if we can't tame this one um two now i want you guys to stay right here unfortunately the horse is going to just wander off on his own so what we need to do is make a hitching post and i usually make fence hitching posts which is really easy to do and we'll put that down and then we'll take our lead and attach it to the horsey and then put him on the uh, hitching post you stay right here okay i'm gonna go get the cat i don't need anybody budging but butting in butting in not budging excuse us cow where'd that cat go so this one is a little different than the other one. It looked like maybe a tabby. Oh gosh, he didn't jump in the hole, did he? I did see a cat here, did I not? Oh, jungle! Oh, that's great! Can't wait to go to the jungle. It's gonna be awesome. Lots of cool stuff in the jungle, and even some new companions, maybe. <laughs> there are panda bears over there, and ocelots and parrots. So lots of uh, animals to tame in Minecraft. Okay guys, I found him. Man, this guy really wanders. He's a little roamer. Come here, buddy. Come on, buddy. There he is. I found him. Oh, he's beautiful. I think he is a tabby. Golden eyes. Oh, okay. Here you go. Wow, you're easy. Your friend, uh, the other stray cat, was a little more difficult than you. <laughs> I think this is a tabby with the golden eyes and the brownish color. It looks like mud. You look very muddy to me, but uh, I think we're going to call you mud, actually. Let's get back to our other two friends over here. The sun's going down. we got to get back to town and take a quick nap. So now we have two cats. And make sure you get the cat up off, the, off his butt. Otherwise, the cat is not going to follow. All right, let's hustle back to town and take a quick nap. we got two cats. That's plenty for now. And like I said, I want to collect all of them. I think there's 11 different skins. We will collect all of them eventually. But two for one day is not too shabby. Is there a bed in here? Oh, there sure is. And it's free. Hop in. And, oh, let's see if those cats come in and sleep with us. One of them might. Oh, watch out for the sword. It's sharp. Oh, little mud. Little muddy slept with us. And he gave us a present. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect demonstration for this tutorial. So, yeah, if you sleep with a cat, if it hops onto your bed while you're sleeping and you wake up, it's uh, the, there's a small chance that it'll drop a gift and that one gave us rabbit hide as a gift sometimes hey, what 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 you want to go on the bed too <laughs> oh you're so jealous aren't you look at you too well guys unfortunately we do not have time to track down wolves in this episode and tame them so we'll do that in a future episode what do you say horsey yeah i think everybody here agrees they want to get back to the hidey hole and um get settled now there's one last thing i want to do we've got some yellow flower here a dandelion we're gonna turn that into a yellow dye and we're gonna change mud's collar get over here mud turn around let's make it gold yes it matches your golden eyes i love it. it's beautiful so give me some name ideas down in the comments for the pets that we have here the uh, British short-haired cat, the uh, the tabby, which I'm calling mud for now. I think that's appropriate. And then the uh, the white horse here as well. So I'll put the names down in the comments, and I will choose names for our pets here. So now I think it's time to head back to the shelter. What do you say? Let's roll. Now I'm going to ride the horse back, so we're going to leave the acacia boat behind. Now here's the thing about horses. They're not so great around water. Watch out, you little spy bunny. But that was shallow, so we can cross that. But sometimes, if you're in deeper waters, if you're riding a horse, you'll fall off the back of the horse, which means you're going to have to use a lead to lead the horse across water. 
Isn't that what they say? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink or something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's get home and call it a day. Oh, one one other, oh, well, a couple of things about the cats and the horses. The cats do not take fall damage. They can fall a hundred blocks and not take a single um, bit of damage. Not even a scratch. But if they do happen to take damage, say from a creeper or fire or they get shot by an arrow or something like that, you can heal the cats with raw salmon. Um, and the same with the horse, you can heal the horse with um, bay, uh, hay bales and also wheat and I think apples and some other foods as well. But you guys will have to check the wiki for all the various uh, foods. All right, here we are at the Heidi. Oh, you like it. The horse, he likes the place. Fantastic. Let's put you over here for now. Gonna attach him to the tree. Because I don't have a paddock for you yet, but there we go. So the cats can come inside though, they're small enough. Let's go, cats. Hopefully they don't have any fleas like these llamas do. Come on in, kitty cats. Whoa. There we go. One zipping in, one hopping in. <laughs> Sorry, llama. We don't serve your kind here. You're too big anyway. Hey, don't you dare do it. Um, oh, and right to the chest. And I need to get in that chest. So this is the other thing cats do. One of the things that they do is that they sit on chests and then you cannot open the chests no matter how hard you try. Although you can push them off. Get off my chest. Get off that chest. Go lie in the bed. There we go. Much better. And we can put those emeralds away and the compass. We'll talk about that in a future episode. Uh, maps, etc, etc. So anyway, yeah, let's call it quits right here. Hope you all enjoyed. And once again, go ahead and name my two cats. Eventually, we're going to have all 11 cats. Oh, you're right on the chest again, aren't you? Oh, you little stinker. Now they're fighting to sit on the chest. That's fantastic. Um, so, yeah, we will collect all the cats at some point. We'll be that crazy, crazy cat guy living in a hidey hole. Um, so that should be fun. Anyway, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. What do you guys want? Hmm?